Okay, this is Unit 3 Minerals, Part 1, Video Homework 1. Alright, have you ever hunted for rocks? Do you like looking for rocks? Do you have a rock collection, maybe? Rock collecting is a very popular hobby. There's even parks that are specifically designed for people to go and hunt rocks. If you haven't ever hunted rocks, you might want to try it. It's a fun hobby. Okay. How do you think people classify rocks when they collect them? All right. In class, we're going to do a short scavenger hunt for rocks. Be thinking about how you would classify the rocks you find. Okay, now pause the video and write down at least three ways you could classify rocks if you were out hunting and collecting rocks. This is on your video homework number one, two, and three. Pause the video and write down three ways in which you could classify rocks. Alright, so what's the difference between minerals and rocks? Okay, rocks are made out of minerals but usually don't have a specific chemical makeup. Rocks can be made up of multiple minerals, elements, or chemical compounds. Minerals are naturally formed non-living solids that have a specific chemical formula and a repeating three-dimensional structure. So, what the heck does that all mean? I mean, they both kind of look the same, right? Rocks look uh, kind of shiny sometimes, kind of dull. Minerals can look shiny, clear, but they could also look dull. What's the difference? All right, so what exactly is a mineral? Minerals are naturally formed non-living solids that have a specific chemical makeup and a repeating three-dimensional structure. All right, so <clears throat> pause the video, and you're going to need to go to number four on your video, homework one, and record this definition of a mineral. Okay, you're going to have to fill in the blanks for that. All right, so minerals are formed naturally in the lithosphere, which is the crust of Earth. They are not made by humans. These pictures that are on the bottom of the screen here are some examples of some minerals. All right, now look at number five on your video homework. You're going to need to record there where minerals are formed. And we talked about that right here in the crust of the Earth. There are many different types of minerals. Each has a particular combination of elements or compounds and a unique crystalline structure. The crystalline structure is the repeating arrangement of atoms or molecules in the solid mineral. The crystalline structure gives certain minerals unique shapes. Okay, take a look at the shapes of some of these minerals. And this one here has a little thin, looks like glassy, like kind of like straws. This one looks like more like what you would think a crystal looks like. And so does this red one. It has a little bit of a crystal shape to it. Uh, but this blue one, it kind of looks puffy. And all of those shapes are due to the crystal structure. Okay. So look at number six on your video homework. And you need to talk about the crystalline structure, what that is on number six on your video homework. Classifying minerals. Scientists classify minerals to make them easier to study. Minerals can be sorted into groups based on their physical properties. All right, so you need to look at number seven on your video homework and say why scientists classify minerals. All right. Remember that a physical property is one that you can observe or measure without changing the matter itself. Okay, like... Um, the texture of something or the smell or the color okay so um, number eight on your video homework please record that about the physical property okay once you've done that take a look here what's an example of a physical property of some of the minerals in these pictures you know like this one here or this one this one or this one these are all naturally occurring minerals All right, properties of minerals. The properties of minerals that we will study in class are going to be color, luster, streak, 
and hardness. All right. Right now, you might understand what color means, but what about luster, streak, and hardness? Okay. Hardness, maybe you can understand too, but what the heck is luster and streak? Okay. You are going to be learning about those. So take a look at number nine on your video homework and write down the properties of the minerals that we will study. All right. The first property we'll talk about is color. A mineral's color is depends on how it absorbs or reflects light. Many minerals are colorful, which is why people are sometimes attracted to them. Take a look at these very colorful examples of minerals. Okay, this one's multicolored. Here, this one's red, and this one's blue. I mean, there's just as many different colors of minerals as you can think of colors in the rainbow. All right. Color is not a great way to identify or classify minerals because sometimes the same mineral can have different colors. For example, each of the pictures below shows a mineral of a different color, but all the pictures are the same mineral. Quartz. These are all quartz. This one is uh, very clear. This one's kind of whitish. This one's clearish to purple. And this one's a little bit green. I mean, these are all the same mineral quartz, all right? So take a look at number 10, and this is one of the first reasons why minerals are not, or why color is not a great way to classify minerals, all right? And then sometimes more than one mineral can have the same color, like the ones below, all right? See, this one and this one have almost identical color, but they are two completely different minerals. All right, so this is your second reason for number 10, why color is not a great way to classify minerals, because more than one mineral can have the same color. All right, the next property of minerals we're going to talk about is luster. Luster is a physical property that describes how light reflects off an object. Luster describes how shiny or dull an object is, okay? You need to look at number 11 on your video homework. How shiny or dull an object is, is its luster. Okay, which mineral here below is shiny and which one is dull? Okay, metallic luster is one of the ways we, is one of the, the types of luster is metallic. It looks like shiny metal. All right, that's number 12 on your video homework. Non-metallic luster looks dull like dried mud. Okay, That's number 13 on your video homework. Non-metallic luster. Glassy luster looks like clear or slightly colored glass. Okay, Like these examples right here. All right, They can be a little bit of color to them or clear, but it, it looks like glass. All right, That's number 14 on your video homework. Waxy luster is shiny but not clear, kind of like candle wax. These minerals are all waxy luster. You, they're kind of shiny, but you can't see through them. They're not clear. Okay, that's number 15 on your video homework. All right, then the next property we're going to talk about for minerals is called streak. A mineral streak is the color of the powder that it leaves behind when you rub it against a hard surface. All right. That's number 16 on your video homework. Okay. Writing on a chalkboard with chalk leaves a streak of chalk. All right. So when you when you write on a chalkboard, all right, streak is like writing on a chalkboard with chalk. All right. That's number 17 on your video homework. Okay. Streak color is a better way to identify minerals than just observing the color of the mineral. All right. The reason that is, for example, is that quartz comes in many colors. Like the, one of the previous slides, we saw the quartz was many different colors, but its streak is always the same color, white. All right, so it is a better way to identify minerals. And you can see this yellow-looking mineral here left kind of a white streak. This gray mineral left a kind of a reddish streak, and this other gray mineral left more of a gray streak. All right, so streak is a pretty decent way to identify minerals. Alright, so you need to finish up your video homework on number 18.